take trick-or-treating as seriously as the kids do, and you won't regret it. It's a lesson in everyday fitness from Studio 5 contributor Emily Nelson. Hey everybody, it's your Studio 5 Fitness contributor, Emily Nelson, and I'm so excited to be here today because I get to talk about two of my favorite things, Halloween and fitness. Put them together, it's my match made in heaven if you know me. So whether you're the go out and trick or treat with your kids and hit the streets or stay home and pass out candy, I've got just a few tips to add in a little, little fitness challenges to make the night memorable. I'm all about the costumes. I wear about 20 in a season. But on the night of Halloween, when I head out trick-or-treating with my kids, I ditch the costume, I get in something festive, like a fun sweatshirt, and I put on my comfortable running or walking shoes. Because when I go out, I wanna be comfortable, I wanna have fun, and let's be honest, you are hiking hills and driveways and stairs. And that's exactly what I do. Take the challenge to actually walk all the way to the doorstep with your kids, meet new people when you do, you get more steps in, Run, skip, have fun with it. Don't avoid the hills, do the circles, and it'll be such a memorable night with your kids. On the flip side, if you are a stay at home and hand out candy, it can be a long night, whether you have a lot of trick-or-treaters or not very many. What I say is get outside. If the weather allows, get outside and walk up to people, walk around, set something up on your driveway that makes it fun and gets you up and on your feet. Number two, if you're inside, make it a game. The fastest you can get to your door or don't be ignored it rings because you're getting more steps as you go back and forth. Whatever it is, I hope you have the best Halloween and make the most of it fitness style. Somehow she did it again. She turned trick-or-treating, I think, into a workout, but we aren't sure. Really, we just love her philosophy of celebrating movement, like what the body can do, and leaning into those physical activities with the kids, with the family, with the grandkids. That's ultimately what health serves us for best, right? Emily, thank you so much. I'll be thinking of you as I you know, walk the walks, come Halloween night, chasing Penny, no doubt. So I'll be running, actually, the rest of you. Don't, don't feel the need to keep up.